Good day everyone. My name is Ilse van Dijl and I'm the Agricultural Attaché at the Netherlands Embassy in New Delhi. I hope you're all in good health. I would like to thank IntelliCab for organizing this SEMKELP Summit and allowing us to connect from across the globe to discuss sustainable development and forge new partnerships. I'm especially glad that a session is organized on circular agriculture. Across the globe, farmers face similar challenges, such as falling incomes, soil depletion and climate change. And we have to come together to find solutions for this. The Dutch farming sector over the past 70 years has moved from a focus on securing food production after the Second World War towards increasingly efficient methods. A similar development has taken place in India, focusing on productivity increases for food security. Despite the many benefits of this approach, it has also come with some challenges. The emphasis on increasing productivity and cutting costs has led to sometimes small and even negative margins. We are also witnessing a great pressure on our living environment. We have come to realize that we are taking more than the planet, nature and soil can give. To secure the future of our food supply system in a sustainable way, Dutch stakeholders have come together to develop a vision on circular agriculture. And this vision was adopted by our government in 2018. In a circular food system, re residues or waste streams from one sector are reused by another or turned into new products. Soils are healthy instead of depleted. A more precise use of inputs also reduces costs for farmers. Pollution is reduced and so are greenhouse gas emissions. An important part of our vision is that we want to collaborate with other countries and experience, exchange experiences. And this is something we would also like to do with India. Circular agriculture is already at the heart of many of our activities in India. For example, in our activities focusing on making horticulture more sustainable, reducing food losses and waste, reducing antimicrobial resistance, and making agriculture more climate resilient. To give an example, we started a project to valorize paddy straw and reduce stubble burning. A few months ago, we signed an MOU with the government of Andhra Pradesh to set up a farmer producer organization and a factory to turn the rice straw into panels for furniture. A transition to circular agriculture will be most successful if it involves all the relevant stakeholders, from research, innovation and technology transfer to farm producer organizations, finance and consumers. I would therefore like to compliment all the stakeholders who have come together to create the Indian Agriculture and Food Systems Circularity Action Platform launched by IntelliCap and TRI. I'm sure there are many activities on which we can collaborate. For example, we are currently setting up an Indo-Dutch AgTech platform to connect startups and incubators. And I read about this in your action plan as well. We would also like to work together when it comes to policy. The Netherlands has started a program, as well as launched a farm of the future, to test and apply new farming techniques, especially in the field of precision farming. Perhaps we could set up an exchange for this. These are just some first ideas, but I think the main message is that the Netherlands certainly wants to be a pa partner on your platform, and we look forward to discussing with you how we can do so. For now, I wish everyone a very successful Sankal, and I would like to thank you all.